Welcome to this look at some new screenshots and some information of the from the blog post today, Thursday the 31st of March from Giant Software. Uh, you'll find it on their website. There is a link in the description to the video. And this is regarding precision farming and weeds. Now, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know I'm not a weed person. I don't normally run them. I find them a bit finicky and a bit of a pain. There have been some other information released about precision farming. I haven't done videos up to now. Some of it has been extensions of um, things that we previously had on precision farming on FS19. This, I think, is a little bit different, and I'm quite excited by this. So, if you're completely unaware, um, precision farming DLC we had on FS19, we are now getting a revamped version for FS22. It's going to release on the 19th of April. It is free. Did I say free DLC? It is free. Um, it'll be available. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. But with the Precision Farming Free DLC for Farming Simulator 22, the weed growth on your fields will now change. A new spraying option has been added, and the way you control the weeds will have an effect on the environmental score of your farm. Now, that's something that hasn't been talked about a lot in detail, and I know more information is going to be coming out between now and when the game, uh, when the DLC releases. But your, your farm will have an environmental score. Now... The Precision Farming DLC is a project initiated by John Deere and funded by the EIT Food Group, uh, Europe's leading innovative um, initiative. It's co-funded by the EU and it's meant to highlight sustainable technology in agriculture. Um, John Deere, obviously the people sort of initiating the whole project in the first place, a lot of their gear, as you found on the FS19 version, was available. So what's different and why am I excited? I'm excited because I don't like doing weeds normally. I've often found them to be temperamental, unpredictable, and I know a lot of people say, oh, they're actually, it's, it's really simple. And that's fine. I get it. That's just my own personal feeling. But with the new uh, Precision Farming DLC, spot spraying is going to be available, which will reduce herbicide usage. With Precision Farming enabled in FS22, weeds won't appear as evenly spread as they uh, do normally in the game. So rather than having a blanket across the field, there'll be patches again. They will appear in smaller or bigger patches as well, like on most real fields. That means that as they do not grow all over the field, you have the chance to save on a lot of herbicide if you run weeds as a setup. Therefore, you're saving money and you don't have to treat the entire field. Simultaneously, the reduced usage of herbicide will have a positive effect on the environmental score of your farm. Everyone's trying to be more sustainable in the world. I think people are mostly trying to be more uh, uh, respect to uh, respectful of the environment and and lessen their impact on it and i think that's kind of a big part of all this um over are the days when you just turn on your sprayer and cover the whole field with herbicide instead you need to use a special sprayer using so-called spot spraying technology this will save you up to 90 percent of herbicide reducing costs and protecting the environment now i want to go on a little side note here when i was at farmcon 19 way back there was a guy from Japan, I might have mentioned this before, and he was overlooking everything that was going on. He worked for a drone, I think it was a drone company, I'm trying to think now. And they use drones to do spot herbicide and treatments and things like that, which is incredible. And I also saw some information about this spot spraying technology a while back in Holland, well in the Netherlands. And it was in tulip farms and greenhouses, and the machines run on rails. Um, it's going to talk about it in just a second. And the cameras on those machines can identify the difference between the crops, the flowers, and weeds. When they identify weeds, they spot spray. And it's incredible. So, see and spray with John Deere. With the Precision Farming DLC, we introduced the John Deere R732i Power Spray. Thanks to its see and spray feature, using machine vision and artificial intelligence software, each nozzle of the sprayer will only turn on to apply herbicide if there are actual weeds below them. Now, obviously, the picture there of the R732i is very cool indeed. Um, it does say, with this configuration, each nozzle of the sprayer will only turn on while there are actual weeds below the nozzle. Uh, that uh, Sorry below the nozzle. With that, you may use 90% less herbicide, reducing costs and protecting the environment. Now, that is also an option. If you look at the bottom left on that, that screen, it does say the base price is 52 grand. And options, if you look over to the right, on the bottom it says see and spray, yes or no. You don't have to have that on. So if you, this will still be available. Um, and if you want to just run it as a regular sprayer, you absolutely can. It's got a boom width of 28 meters. 
Um, and I just think, as well as the fact that, yes, we're getting it in-game, if, if you stop and think about the technology involved in how that works, is it's mind-blowing and incredible. A set of cameras using a special software can distinguish between crops from weed plants. If enough weeds are detected, the nozzles open and herbicide is applied. You need to add the spot spraying configuration in the shop when buying the sprayer at the dealership, as I just mentioned. Uh, there will be more info on the, uh, the new features coming soon. But like I say, I, I wanted to just do this. It's, I know it's only a very short video, but just to make people aware, if you're not aware of the Precision Farming DLC, like I say, 19th of April, it will be releasing. It's another one of those ones you don't have to use if you don't want to. The previous version we're going to have on this one, there's crop sensors. The previous um, blog posts have already talked about soil types and soil sampling. Soil sampling on FS19 was done with a machine and did it in patches. One of the updates for FS22 is going to be that you can buy an entire soil map. So if you don't want to spend ages going out to do the individual soil sampling, you'll be able to just buy a soil map. And that will affect the way that your herbicide, oh, your herbicide, your fertilizer and your pH, your lime is applied. It works brilliantly because it's a one pass system and it again it will automatically adjust the application rates. It's brilliant. I, I really did enjoy it on FS19 when I got the, to grips with it and I used it a lot on Attingham Park, one of my last Let's Plays in FS19. Um, so I like the, the these changes, the, you know, the improvements and this for me again I'm going to say it again because I'm not a big fan of weeds normally. I think this is something that will push me more towards doing weeds on FS22. Um, so it will be available through the official mod hub on PC and consoles. Um, and then if you go onto the website as well and look on the blog post, there's a load of information regarding um, the EIT. I think, where's that? It does say it on here somewhere. Yeah, you can read about what precision farming is, read a bit more about EIT food. Um, and then obviously there's a little bit more information about the various different things. There's uh, one there for soil type, soil sampling, economic analysis, variable rate mineral fertilizing and variable rate mineral lime spreading. Uh, there's also going to be stuff about seed drilling, uh, manure fertilizing, yield maps, all sorts, and environmental score they haven't actually covered yet. So we should be getting to that. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.